What's going on, Ghosts and Ghouls? It's Montavious back with the Empty Crypt, and today we're going to be talking about Christmas, Bloody Christmas. I'll be sharing my thoughts about the movie. Guys, I definitely believe that this may be the best Christmas slasher film I have seen to this date. No exaggeration there, guys. I had so much fun watching this movie. So stick around, grab a snack, and let's jump into the video. All right, guys. So like I said before, this movie w was so much fun. Uh, I definitely recommend watching it. <clears throat> Check it out on Shudder. You will not be disappointed. Now, uh, the movie is directed by Joe Bagos. Kind of sounds like Jeff Bezos. But anyway, uh, it's a Chris Christmas slasher movie. And it's great. I loved it. Now, we do start off kind of slow. And I think that will be a drawback from some horror fans uh there is tons of dialogue before we get to any good kills i mean you got riley uh dandy who plays uh tori in this film and you have tori and robbie they're going to be the main uh characters in this film and you kind of follow them like tori and robbie they're you know co-workers uh, they're about to get off. She ends up canceling her date plans with some scrub guy to go to a bar with Robbie. So, you know, they end up going to a bar, having a few drinks. And it's kind of funny because it seems like there's some tension between the two, like they're co-workers, but yet they're feeling each other. So the whole night, like they're kind of going back and forth uh about teasing each other and things like this so they get to the bar they're slamming some shots they meet up with two other friends at the toy store um and then that's when we get our first glimpse of the animatronic santa now uh so if you watch the film you would see that there was like a news clip uh played at the bar that shows a rogue santa that went crazy and so this is kind of like that secondary effect when they do find out that this killer Santa is on the loose. As I was saying before, this movie has tons of dialogue, which I do like the buildup. So we get to learn to love these characters or to like these characters. And I think that's where horror fans are going to be split in, the, split in the middle. Either you're going to be a fan of the dialogue and the buildup of this, or you're going to absolutely hate it because it's like a good 30 to 40 minutes before we get to any brutal kills, guys. Like. It is a slow buildup, but it's totally worth it for me. It's not for everybody, but I definitely think that this was done very, very well. And I love like the 80s style that uh, that Joe uh, Bagos does. I love the way that he directs films. This this was really good. And I can't forget, you got uh, Jeff Daniel Phillips. He plays the, the local sheriff in this movie. Uh, which is a great, great thing. I love him as, as an actor. Um, also, the director definitely has great self-awareness in this film. He doesn't try to create this new horror icon. This, this man literally took <laughs> one of the greatest, I wouldn't say greatest holiday, but some people definitely love Christmas a whole lot more. But he took a figure that everybody knows across the world. Everybody knows of St. Nicholas, Santa Claus, and just reinvented the wheel a little bit. Just made him Terminator-esque because that's what you're going to get. If you're a fan of Terminator, this guy or this animatronic Santa is definitely ter ter uh, Terminator. No matter what they do, they cannot kill this guy. He keeps coming back and back and back. And the brutality of these kills like he spares none i think if i counted the kill count correct i think he had like maybe 15 kills and they are brutal brutal i mean the guy even kills a kid like it was a bloody film and i loved every bit of it in my opinion so i definitely recommend giving this a try and as I stated before, you can definitely see this film on Shutter. I definitely recommend giving it a try. Uh, and down there below in the comments, guys, let me know what you think of this movie of Christmas, Bloody Christmas. Was this movie bloody enough for you? And you definitely got that Christmas feel in this movie. I know we have some films that don't feel like the holiday season, but this definitely gives you that small town, comfortable Christmas vibe. And I definitely recommend checking it out. Like this was the Christmas movie slasher of the year in my opinion this was great 
very fun to watch very entertaining and i hope we get a second one i hope maybe we want to do a second one i mean some things are great just by doing one and this is definitely one of those cases but if we got a second one i wouldn't be disappointed now guys let me know down there be below in the comments if you're feeling this movie if you've seen it i would love to know your your thoughts and opinions on it and don't forget to give me a thumbs up smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe guys and also take care and we'll see you in the next one